Let's talk about our good buddies at AAA. Now, AAA, you may remember, uh, were the ones that were very skeptical about electric cars. They they famously uh, were going to raise rates, and Elon encouraged people to drop AAA uh, as an insurance provider and seek elsewhere. I believe this was maybe some of the catalyst for Tesla to offer the insure my Tesla option with Liberty Mutual. All those things happening. So AAA doesn't have, in Tesla owners' eyes, the greatest reputation. I will say, though, they were the ones that I was able to, to, to contract with to get my Model 3 towed. So I think they provide a great service from that end. Um, I'm not, not familiar with the insurance products and those kind of things. But they have a new survey that says one in five U.S. drivers want electric vehicles. Now, this is, and let me go to a different thing that did some charts, which I generally am not a fan of pie charts. But if you ever are doing a pie chart, as, a, as an aside here, as a data guy, spent a lot of time uh, studying data visualization. This is about as good as you can make them, right? See how you have a single number, you're not comparing slices, uh, and you have actually the number written out. This is about as good as, as you can do when it comes to, to pie charts. So uh, in 2017, it was 15%. In 2018, it's 20%. So that's, that's in the right direction. It's a small jump, but it's significant. Um, and then the, the biggest thing here that I thought was interesting is that uh, range anxiety, people worrying about running out of electricity, went from 68% to 58%, a 10% drop. That is pretty big. Now, some of the things um, that I also thought was interesting was that in the study, they said reliability is king with 9 in 10, 92% of those likely to buy an electric or hybrid vehicle stating it is important when evaluating which car to buy, reliability. And as we know, electric cars have very few parts and very few things that can go wrong with them. You know, you have your typical uh, brakes and tires or, you know, if a rock hits your windshield or something like that. But in terms of the actual car, like the battery and, and the motor, they're extremely simple in Teslas. Uh, I've seen the Chevy Bolt. It looks like a regular engine to me. I'm not sure why there's so much stuff there. Same with the Nissan Leaf. But in general, um, I, I think it's it's pretty understood or pretty agreed upon that electric vehicles are far more reliable. There's less maintenance and obviously fuel is a lot cheaper. So very interesting. And and just, just to, to put that out, 20% uh, of Americans comes out to something like 50 million people uh, or more. That is a lot. And if you think about... Uh, the 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 curtail uh, about the, I'm sorry the curtailing of adoption is because there wasn't demand. If you think about if you look at and study at the you know uh, battery adoption and and uh, solar adoption renewable adoption those kind of things usually it's like you need you have to have this insane amount of demand in order for it to come true because you need to start making you know you just start starting to increase your production by orders of magnitude. And when you have one in five, you know, over 50 million people in the United States alone looking, uh, saying that they want to buy an electric car, the demand is there, which means that in, you know, five, six years when we, you know, the, the back cost of making a battery drops another 80%. This is just going to be a no-brainer for literally every single manufacturer and, you know, even regarding to solar panels and your home batteries and things like that. So in terms of the outlook on, uh, uh, you know, uh, for electric cars and batteries and renewable energy, everything is pointing uh, in, in a really great direction.